All right, this is Brock Emery at Landmark Implement. Today we're going to cover the 4 Series sprayer with the Gen 4 monitor. So let's drop down to our Applications tab. The first on our Applications tab is, is where we set our Auto Track Guidance. If we look, this is very similar to any of you that have ran any kind of a green system before. This is where we do our Set Track, New Track, and we have all sorts of options there. And typically a lot of us do an A plus B when we're spraying. I'm indoors, so it's not going to let me do this, but pretty simple. Calculator, equipment manager. Uh, great place for just for the equipment manager is we can get in here and there is your machine serial number. So when you talk to our service techs and they ask you, what's your machine serial number? You know where to find it. Field and boundaries. Um, again, wish we were outside. We will see some cool things, but when I create a boundary, couple of great options. I can create a boundary from my coverage back map or I can do a driven boundary. So a driven boundary is what a lot of us are used to, where we would do our first pass around that field to our border of the field and we would draw that pink line while we would do that. And we can still do that method or we could just drive our exterior, start filling in and anytime I want to snap the exterior of my field I could just come in here and say create boundary from my coverage map and it will automatically create a boundary for me. It's pretty handy. I'm going to skip flags because not a lot of you are using it. ISO bus file server doesn't matter. ISO bus BT doesn't matter to you. Layout manager. Layout manager is when where we're going to come in here and make run pages for this monitor. When we do when we do these, always start with all run pages, add new, and then from here we'll add our modules. So we'll add our modules. Let's just say I want a tank system, and there we go. Then from here I can drag it to where I want it to be, and then I'll add another another module and I'll say I want my client form field on this page as well right so that gives you the idea of just keep adding your modules that you want to see on your screen when you're done you'll hit save run page sets add new now well, that's where we pull in that page that we there was our test That's how we bring our pages in. All right, uh, machine monitor. Machine monitor, as we look, we have speed and power, our fuel pressure, temperature that we're running at, our electric system, here's our engine hours, etc. Mapping, pretty simple stuff. You guys are used to this. Our section control settings, I do want to look at section control settings because these are. Um, have improved quite a bit when we've gone to this Gen 4 monitor. So if I look first at our overlap settings, so our coverage, 100%, you can change this to a 100% overlap, overlap plus an additional 5 feet, so that you got some flexibility of how you want to uh, manage your overlaps. The other thing we can do is our performance tuning, and this is adjusting our on off times of our machine so measure the observed skip or overlap distance and enter the value settings will be used to correct unaccepted skip or overlap when entering or exiting coverage so again this is how we used to adjust our on off on off times i would till, still tell you to go slow with this and make small adjustments but as i'm entering coverage meaning i have left my headland and i'm turning on to spray so as I'm entering my coverage, I notice that I am leaving a three foot skip and I'm leaving my coverage area at about eight miles an hour as I'm ramping up to my 15. So I'm skipping three feet at eight miles an hour. I hit OK and in the background, the monitor will adjust my on off settings. So again, make small adjustments and don't make two adjustments at the same time. Make one. Make your pass, turn around, see if see what we've done, then let's, let's take care of our next problem. So that's how we adjust our section control on this machine. Alright, last two I want to look at. Oh, you've got our work monitor. 
and this is where you can reset your A and B counters. Actually, it gives you up to in, uh, five different counters that you can reset. I will typically put these counters on one of my run pages. And then you have your work totals, and your work totals are tied to the specific client, farm, and field that you're in. Right, that you're in. So those are, I've covered our machine settings, our applications. Those are the two main things that we need to run the new Gen 4 display. So that's your overview of the Gen 4, the new SprayStar Gen 4 display. Appreciate you tuning in today. Thanks.